Yeah, guys, today our task is going to be A plus WPA2 PSK cracking. So let's get started. Okay, one of the first things, as per usual, is let's see what interfaces are available to us. Okay, so we've got two available interfaces here. Uh, let's go ahead and put one of these in promiscuous mode M1 and G okay okay so it wants us to follow this particular setup <coughs> down IB W dev W Lano set monitor non I have config W LAN oh <clears throat> oh, sorry. Uh, up. IP do I W config. It will show that WLANO is in monitor mode. Right, you're perfect. <clears throat> right, next thing. Let's clear the screen. Let's run arrow dump to see what's going on around us. Okay, it's channel hopping. Okay. All right. So what we can see here is that this client here is attempting to connect here. Obviously, it's not been associated yet. Does show what channel is on yet? Hmm. So what we want to do is we want to create our own AP. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> and let's, uh, in fact, let's keep that running and let's go on to here and let's create our own AP. So we're going to make a com file. Um, I think we've got Vim on here. Vim. Let's call this connect conf. Okay, perfect. Insert. All right, okay, first of all, let's set the interface to. Uh, we did have two on here, didn't we? So we've already using WLAN 0, so WLAN 1. <coughs> Hardware mode we will set to G. Channel, let's set. Uh, to one i think th i think there's three or four channels which there's there's no overlap and i think channel one is one of them uh driver let's set to i think it's nl a2211 i think that's the same for all linux machines ssid uh let's copy this over because you want it to be exact let's copy that Brilliant. Um, auth <coughs> algs was one. WPA is two. WPA uh, WPA two key. Um, let me make sure I get this right. MGMT, I think it is. Uh, which is WAPA two PSK. And for the next one, WPA pass phrase. <coughs> You can have this as anything because it's it's not going to fully connect. Um, it's only going to try and connect, and that's all we want. So I'm just going to put this as ABC one two three. It's a terrible password, but let's stick with what we've got. I think that's it. So, no, not that's not it. Three. Now, how do we use this uh, Vim? How do we exit out of Vim? Let's see. Control Q S. No, well, that's not clearly working. 
escape. Nope, that's not it again. Let's just do a simple search. How to escape out of Vim and save. <coughs> First call to run on the window. Okay, brilliant. Escape, press colon. Oh, sorry. It's escape, press colon. Press WQ. WQ. Okay, brilliant. <clears throat> Let's just double check, make sure everything's in there. Right, okay, that's nice, that's already in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a host <coughs> uh, APD for this um, and use that to connect or try and connect uh, so we can actually get the uh, handshake, just enough for the handshake and then we can uh, then we can crack the handshake to retrieve, retrieve the key that we need. So let's you see, this should have host, host APD. Okay, that's perfect. It's on here, so we're gonna run it in. Okay, let's run it in debug mode. What's the PD? See what message we get. Debug. It's called connect.conf. Let's see what we get. And meanwhile, we're gonna make sure this is still running. It is. Hmm, that's not worked. Do, do, do. Right, let's go back. See why it's not working. What have I done wrong? This one looks a bit unusual. Okay. Oh, okay. Expect eight minimum. Right, there we go. That's what I've done wrong. So the password just can't be anything. It's got to be a minimum eight length. Uh, so that's my mistake. So we're just going to do uh, one, two, three again. Um, do. do, do. Escape the WQ um, that and let's try again. That's clear. Right, round two. Brilliant. Enabled. And let's see what we've got here. So we've got sending one of four messages for four way handshake. Invalid in 202, CVD for keyframe 202, we should have it. And we've got the W3A handshake, which is absolutely brilliant. Now we need to crack that. Just copy. Copy that. So we can that okay let's do air crack ng word list <clears throat> do I'll do let's redo that part because I need to save this file And let's run this again. Right, brilliant. And there we go. I made the mistake of not actually writing this file out, so uh, that's on me that. 
Right, let's try our crack again. We've got the file capture. We did our work with just the. Uh, Okay, nice. And it's found it. And there we go. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this. It's just a quick tutorial on how to create your own AP so the client can connect to it, so you can uh, connect to the ESSID, get the four-way handshake, and then crack that to get the key that's needed. Thank you very much for your time.